went out for Colette's birthday to the local pub and before we left we found something after we had our dinner at the pub there was a stray cat hanging around and um, the owner of the pub had been trying to catch it and it took off up in between the buildings so I went up in between the, the tiny little walkway in between the buildings in the dark and sat down there and it didn't take too long at all and she came up to me She's very underweight. Yep. She's skinny. She looked a bit dehydrated. And she's still very young. So we brought her home last night, gave her a feed, set her up in the bathroom here. And we also gave her a little bit of a wash, cleaned her up. And she's been so nice. She's been really thankful. I'm pretty sure she's a little girl. I'm only guessing, but it looks like she's about seven months old to me. And I'm about to put her in a little cat cage now, take her down to the vets, the veterinarian. And I'll get them to have a look at her, make sure um, that it is a girl and that she's healthy and okay. And I'll also just Double check because the vet's only two doors up from the pub. So I'll just double check that it's not one that got away from them and that they don't know the owners and she's not somebody's pet that's gone missing. But to me she looks like a stray. She's very skinny and she was hanging around in the buildings looking for something to eat. Look at the size of you. <laughs> so she hasn't met Kitty yet, our cat. I don't know if the camera's picking that up, but she's got a really low growl. <laughs> okay, I'll try and put her in this cage, see how she goes, and then I'll take her down to the vets and see what they have to say about her. I know. Don't want to be in that cage, do ya? Yeah. I know, darling. Rightio. Come on. This is where I found it last night. It took off up in between these two buildings. And it was dark up here. So I squeezed... So I squeezed through that little opening between the fence and the building. Came up here. That door there goes out to the footpath, onto the main street. And I sat down here. And a couple of times it shot out from under the building there. Across under that, under that building. 
and she was talking to me but she was really scared didn't want to come too close so I just sat here and talked nicely for a minute and she ended up coming up to me let me pat her and then I just picked her up hey we've had this little miss for two days now she's just been kept separate so far we've been feeding her and keeping her in our bathroom and bedroom and now we're going to introduce her to Kitty we'll see how it goes she's very good with us she's really good with people we haven't had a problem with her at all but I think it might be a different case with another cat or other animals when I walk past the door and she's seen Diesel she's actually growled at him and he's a great Dane so I don't think she scares easy let's see how they go Can you hear her growling? Mm -hmm. Her claws are out a little bit. Kitty's so relaxed. Good boy, Kitty. Good boy. <laughs> She's, she's very defensive. Hey, hey, hey. Well, Kitty seems fine. He's not too worried. Um, so he was a stray also, but a long time ago. This one, she's still only a couple of days off the street, so she's very protective of her food. She doesn't know when she's going to get fed again, so she gets really protective of her food and guzzles it down quickly. And she seemed really defensive when she saw Kitty. So I'd say other cats and animals are just a threat to her at the moment, and she doesn't know how to react. He's like... Go away. I thought she'd be a lot worse with him, actually. I thought she'd go in. No, she's just... Scared. Taking a barrier. She's just scared, I think. Well, that went pretty good considering there was no actual contact, they didn't fight, so that's a good start. And they have seen each other, they're in the same room and they're not going at each other, so I wasn't sure what to expect. She's very frightened, she's putting up all of her defences and growling and trying to make out she's pretty tough, but I don't think she's as bad as she makes out. And Kitty wasn't too worried. He was just a little bit interested, but didn't go out of his way. And I think that's about as good as we could have asked for. If you've got an idea for a name, if you think you've got a perfect name for her, make sure you leave it in comments below. And if we end up keeping her, we'll take all the names into account before we name her. Oh, here's Kitty. Hello, Kitty. This is our beautiful boy. He was originally a stray cat too, but we got him when he was only six weeks old. He was a real tiny little kitten off the streets. And he has been a beautiful boy for us. Okay, say goodbye, kitty. Meow. Yeah, so if you think of a nice name for it, leave it in comments and we might just draw one out of a hat. All right, thank you. I'll keep you up to date and let you know how she goes. And if she works out, we'll keep her and otherwise we'll find another good family for her. So I'll keep you informed and let you know how it works out. Thanks very much for watching, and remember, take time for the simple joys.